how do I teach my family to prepare themselves so that they truly can rejoice in the Savior's return rather than fear it? That's a great question. And I think there's a lot of answers, but one that's on my mind right now is it's going to be easier to rejoice if we don't get attached to everything about the way stuff is now. Okay. I think we're worried, what if this justice is coming for us? Well, I hope so, <laughs> right? I hope it is. Let's read in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. It says there, but we are all as an unclean thing. So we don't need to be afraid. This is all of us at some level. We can just it's not know. not us versus no them. We're all in this, okay? Yep. And then verse 8. But now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou our potter, and we are all the work of thy hand. So, when God grinds us to dust, it's to make us clay. And I think this sounds really advanced, but if you teach your kids, it's okay when you screw up, right? It's okay to make mistakes and learn and have some things taken apart because you can build it back better with the Lord. Okay. Yeah, there's always promises of restoration, of rebuilding us into something better. You know, I, I think of that primary song, uh, the children's song, I wonder when he comes again. And, you know, sometimes I wonder when he comes again, what will it be like? What will I be like? Will I be alive? Will I be dead? Uh, how will it affect me? And I think, what has helped me is just trying to focus on my discipleship to Jesus Christ, continually trying to improve, partaking of the sacrament, really with that commitment that I will try to remember him and follow him. And, and then teaching, you know, my family likewise, that, you know, through scripture, through prayer, through attending church, my discipleship can, can be maintained and, and hopefully strengthened.